What is going on you guys? It is these talking Sasquatch and it is that time again. Now I know you guys have been trying to find the official Wi-Fi dev board on the official store, but they've been sold out for months. People keep asking me, how do I make them? We've done videos over that, but turns out there's actually a lot of really cool alternatives to the official dev board. Now I know I've talked about mine in the past and actually at the end of this video, I'll be officially unveiling the finished project for the first time on YouTube. But before that, I'm gonna show you a bunch of different cards by Just Call Me Coco and AWOK. They've both come up with some of the coolest Wi-Fi add-on boards that you can find available online right now. Now their products do go in and out of stock, but they are trying to keep up as much as possible. However, one of the coolest parts is that they're making combo boards, they're making NRF24 boards, they're making stuff you can't get through the official store. So sit back, relax, and let's get at it. So let's start off with Just Call Me Coco. He's been in the game for a while. He's the uh, inspiration for the ESP32 Marauder with screen boards that I've made. Um, great guy, makes really cool stuff. Uh, one of the first things that I actually got from him was the uh, the case for the original Wi-Fi board. So this is the case that I got from him. It's got an awesome Marauder logo on it. It's got the nice buttons, and it's also got a cutout in the back for an SD card, which I haven't installed yet. Um, what's actually nice too is that if he is sold out, the STL files for this are actually available through his Tendi as well. So you can just follow the links, download it, print them on your own. Um, they print really well. This has a PEI uh, build plate texture to it. So if you're curious what gets that cool texture, it's a PEI build plate. They're a little bit more expensive than the standard build plates, but it gives you a really nice uh, end result. So yeah, check that out. But that's the, uh, the just the normal cases that he's selling. Now what I'm really excited about is this new card that he's got. So this is his hat style card. So check this out. This sits right up on top, um, fits really nicely, fits the profile. This is an ESP32 board as well um, with Marauder. It does have an SD card slot right there. So what's cool about this too is this is obviously this is just a skin, it doesn't have a case on it. However, we can take it and then we can slap it onto this with the case on it. So this works really well, this fits super good. So let's take this apart and see what this looks like on the inside, just to get a good idea what it looks like. All right, so just taking this apart, I actually noticed a cool couple features that I'm assuming he figured out already, but it's cool. So first of all, with this guy, when it sits, it actually, the little feet hit the ground, not the pins. So I can put this flat on something and work on it and unscrew it and assemble it like I'm sure he's doing with all these. And it's super easy to work on because I don't have to worry about damaging the pins. What a great design choice. I'm sure he's gone through a few iterations where he realized that that's the way to go, but such a good idea. Also, just to show how quality his stuff is, these are all heat set brass fittings in there. All those little cool brass things camera never likes to focus I know I'm sorry let's get in there ah still no but yeah those are heat set fittings so those actually have to be pressed in with um, either a tool for it or a soldering iron but let's take the board out and yeah these things are just gorgeous like everything is so well made yep we're gonna get focused here we go everything's super well made you can see the traces the solder points on it he's even got the Marauder logo on it itself there we go Really, really well made. SD card over here. Your reset points. The ESP32. What's running on here? I'm assuming it's a rover. Nope, it's a room. ESP32 room. Love those things. But just the design, the quality. These things are awesome. So thanks a lot to Just Call Me Coco for sending this down. If you can get one, order it. It's they're so nice. It's such a much smaller profile. They're awesome. So link down in the description. Air description. <laughs> yeah, it is a description. As I'm putting this back together, I want you to appreciate how good this print is. He does such a nice job on everything he makes. So you can see, yeah, gotta get it to focus. But yeah, now you see the layer lines, you see, I mean, it's just gorgeous. I know he's got a really nice printer, but still, props to Coco, you make awesome stuff. Now that brings me to one of my favorite creators, AWOK. I've been talking to AWOK for a long time. I've actually got pulled up uh, our first conversation on, uh, on Discord about him trying to hook up ESP32 Marauder. Uh, the cool stuff that he's come up with, he's outpaced me as far as hardware goes 10 times over. So I'm super glad to show you some of the cool stuff he sent me. 
So this is probably one of the coolest things that I've gotten and I'm so psyched to have it. So this is another one of AWOC's boards. So it's got his logo, but on the other side, it's got my logo. It's so cool. I'm so psyched about it. I'll admit it. I'm not 100% sure about what's on all the boards that he sent me. So I'm gonna start tearing them down and we're gonna find out. I got my um, iFixit kit Mako screwdriver right here. It's not an LTT screwdriver, unfortunately, lttstore.com. Uh, if anyone wants to donate one, I uh, desperately want to get my hands on one of those. But let's see what we got inside here. All right, so the first thing we're gonna take a look at as the disassembly goes on is the 3D printing. Now, I know AWOC's gone through a few different 3D printing solutions and the what he's getting out of there is, is phenomenal. Like, again, hard to focus, but eventually it'll get there. Hello, hello. Struggle bus. There we go. So yeah, it's super, super high quality. Everything looks great. And again, yeah, the logo with the same texture, fantastic. Now he's not using the same heat set um, fittings as Coco was. However, um, they're, the tolerances for the screws are fantastic. I'm not worried at all about anything falling out of here. So great job on the case they walk. So now the card itself, if there's anything better than the case that he made, it's the card. Now, when I make stuff, it's got, you know, utilitarian purposes to it. We have some logos, but when he makes stuff, he makes it with a certain level of flair, flash, panache, whatever you want to call it, but he makes stuff that's super cool. So let's go ahead and check out the board itself. Take a look at this thing. It's absolutely gorgeous. The color is great. You can see this has got an ESP32 room on it as well. Um, SD card on the other side because things are mirrored. Onboard antenna and then um, USB. You micro USB on top. So these things are absolutely phenomenal. The back tracing, I mean, literally, work of art. What a great job, AWOC. This thing's fantastic. All right, so next up is this guy. So we've got a great black case and the nice antenna on there. My guess is this is an NRF24. Well, let's crack it open, see what's going on. All right, so yeah, as we expected, it's an NRF24. Little guy right there, super cool. Let me go to manual focus and we can see what we're doing. And do do. This is the NRF24 board on there. He's got a conversion, you know, just base PCB for it. What's nice about these two, again, it's gorgeous. These are all hand soldered. He made this all by hand. So if you've seen me do streams before soldering these things, it takes a lot of work to build these. It's not super quick. All the header pins you got to solder on, everything. I mean, it's not super easy. The fact that he's putting this kind of work into there and making such a nice product, like I can't say enough. Great job. Now this last big chungus right here is one of my favorites, this guy. Now, I know it looks a little intense, but let me tell you, I've used this before and the range that this, um, this is uh, just a, another Wi-Fi dev board, but the range this thing works is insane. So let's open it up, see what's inside here. All right, so yeah, as expected, this thing's sick. So it's pretty similar to the last one. So it's got the SD card and the ESP32. This one's a Rover. However, this guy's got, the external antenna built right into the case. It clips in like what? Super, super nice. The engineering on this is amazing. The tolerance is just for the 3D print. The little nut that holds the base of the antenna on like chef's kiss, my dude. This thing is awesome. Well done. Hopefully you got them in stock when people are seeing these because, you know, I think people are going to want them again. This thing works at least twice as far as the normal dev boards. At least it could be three times I picked up literally Wi-Fi signals from what I feel like has got to be blocks and blocks away. So if you can get your hands on one of these things, man, these are pretty freaking awesome. Now, one of the other things he sent, which I absolutely love, are his prototype boards. Now, I know you can get prototype boards from the actual flipper store, but these ones are so much better. So let me switch to manual focus and we can see what's going on here. All right, so what we're looking at right here is simply a bunch of traces. It literally works as simple as it is. Now, what's also cool is that there is a 3v3 and a ground. So you can see on the right side, there's a 3v3 rail, and then on the left side, there's a ground rail. That's super useful when you're powering multiple devices. So this thing is sick. The thing I hate about these fucking official boards is this. See those traces that go up 3v3 halfway up the board? If you mount anything to this board, it's just not gonna work because basically those traces get in the way. Whoops, my exposure is fucked. 
And we're back. <laughs> but yeah, those traces get in the way. Um, I spent an entire live stream troubleshooting this stupid board because I didn't realize that they traced them that way. So <clears throat> these things, I never want to see them again. Oh crap, I didn't notice I hit my reel. It's okay, it's fine, we're good. Oh, and actually, for those of you who noticed, I've actually just finished my 3D print, so let's break that off and let's see what that looks like. Hell yeah, this thing's sick. This is Creality Multicolor PLA, and this stuff's gorgeous. It prints really well. Like, look at that guy. That That's a, it's a handsome print right there. All right, and as promised, we've got my board right here. So, built this on live stream a few weeks ago, and it is super cool. So here we go with the um, the TFT screen on there, and then the dual ESP32 is on the, in the rear right there. And then it's almost impossible to see, but we've got the little SD card right in there. Little clicky guy, so it clicks in, clicks out. Super, super cool. Um, yeah, it was a little bit of a challenge to build because the SD card, since it's kind of sandwiched in there, that has no headers on it. So I effectively flat mounted it. It's held on only by solder right now. It seems to be pretty sturdy. So I'm gonna hope for the best on that, but it came out awesome. And yeah, as usual, we can plug it in and boom, Marauder. So these are super cool. I haven't actually released any of these for sale yet, but I'm um, thinking about it. I've got a ton of parts for them. The SD card mounting, I'm a little bit not 100% thrilled about, but I mean, it seems to be pretty good. I'm just concerned about it falling off. Um, I don't think that's gonna happen, but yeah, that is it right there. It's super cool. If you're interested in one of these, we're probably selling them for around 80 or 90 plus shipping. Um, throw a link down below or <laughs> throw a comment down below. Get on the list. Let's see what the reaction to these is. Maybe we'll get a store going. All right, so you made it this far in the video, so here's a little reward. Um, come here, come here. In Discord, we're gonna be giving away not one, not two, not three, but four of AWOX boards. We have three of the normal ESP32, We've got an NRF24 right here. Um, so yeah, join the Discord link down below and we'll be doing a giveaway really soon. We are going to have to limit this to the uh, US alone just because shipping's crazy, but join the Discord, hop in, and we're gonna be giving those away soon. Thanks everybody for watching. You'll see in the background here some of the community-driven art that we've made uh, using the Cynthia bot right in our Discord. So that's worth checking out alone. It runs all the different uh, 3D image generating models like Stable Diffusion and it's really cool. Definitely worth checking it out. Also, thank you to Crunchy Peanut Butter and Max for being Super Fan Squatch level patrons. Uh, you guys help a lot and thanks to all the rest of the patrons. Uh, it really does help out. Um, we just had to pay for a new new Discord bot, we pay for tons of stuff, so every little bit helps, and it helps me make more and more content. I'm sorry I missed a week last week, I wasn't feeling great, but I'm trying to get back to every week doing new content. Hopefully, what I've got lined up for next week shows up, because it's gonna be really cool. It's gonna be a little bit different, not Flipper related, but it's gonna be super cool, so I'm really looking forward to that. As always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It keeps the YouTube channel growing, and growing is what makes it easier for me to make content, quite honestly, so again, I appreciate appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. We'll catch you next time.